back again. Uh, last time we were here, uh, we didn't quite beat Queller, uh, but we played really well in the tournament. Uh, last time you you played was for a team's title. You did yeah. great. Uh, so uh, we're just glad to be back. Uh, it's fun playing Menchaka. Menchaka's cool. Uh, cool dude. Uh, Menchaka, I'll always uh, appreciate you because you were uh, you did something your uh, manager never does. You trusted me uh, to hit an Oscars question. Uh, so I'll always thank you for that. Uh, look, I hope you play good. We really want to win this. Play, play your best game. We'll play our best game. We'll make a fun time out of it. Cody, I don't like you. Bye. Fuck off. Yeah, uh, this should be a good match. Uh, Mark's good. I hope I'm good. Mariners make it man. Let's play. Well, I'm really pissed off, to be honest. I didn't get invited for a show tune number like they did with Andrew Barr in that terrible promo that happened for the title match. Listen, I don't like Cameron Holtzman. It's not that I don't like the person Cameron Holtzman. I don't like the player Cameron Holtzman. Cameron Holtzman is the player that has been my kryptonite this season, basically, or has made me stress behind uh, backstage. Um, but I think you're the player that's made most people stress since you've entered this league. Uh, you're the one that haunts Brian Michaels' nightmares. Red Shaw still can't get you can't get uh, Charlotte's web out of his head. Um, it is. This is your match to solidify yourself for the rest of the season and make your run. You win this, you have a shot of playing Redshaw again. We don't know that outcome, but hopefully you get to play Redshaw again, and hopefully you can win that match again. Um, listen, I think you're a dominant player. Um, you're also my tag team partner now, so I have more uh, insist. I, I have more trust in you than I ever had before. So just go play your match. Um, don't let Coho get in your head, and definitely don't let Cam get in your head. That's the key. How are you feeling? Uh, you know, like I, I, I know, I know like, a I made a really good run that tournament, but I'm really not happy with the last time I came here in Warzone, especially in singles. I wasn't really happy about the way I performed. I feel like I'm facing myself today more than anything. And I'm just ready. I'm just ready to get it on. I'm ready to get back to that top level. I was like before the Campbell match, and I'm just ready to get going. Let's do this. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Multiplex Movie Wars, and I'm your host, Caleb Lobo Boatman. And today, we got a really good matchup for you, Cameron, the conductor, Holzman, going up against Mark, uh, the, the big chill, Manchaka. Almost forgot about the nickname for a second, but I love that nickname, so I probably shouldn't. Uh, but on the desk, we have Mr. Kirk Kalikowski. Kirk, how are you feeling today? Hey, I'm feeling pretty good. This could be a good match. Uh, Mark's back. Everybody's excited about what Mark's been doing all season. Uh, so I'm sure a lot of people will be watching mm -hmm. just to see how this goes. And then Cam, uh, you know, Cam had a quiet little run in the uh, tournament, and uh, he's back now. Uh, these guys both look good. I don't and think quiet is the correct uh, verbiage <laughs> to use there. But, uh, yeah. But, I, but, I uh, heard I heard the boat snatches. They were very loud. <laughs> <laughs> but they, but either way, these guys both had a decent run of the tournament, and um, it'll be fun to see who uh, you know moves on from here. And you know they both want to. They both wanted to get further, and they both feel they could have gotten further. They both probably could have gotten further. So uh, let's see who does it tonight. Okay. Without further ado, let's bring them both in. Introducing first coming into the ring with a record of five wins, two defeats. Cameron, the conductor, Holtzman. I wrote a midterm today. You can't kill me. And introducing second coming to the ring with four wins, one defeat. It is Mark, the big chill ninja. So we're going to get into round one. Round one's going to work like this. Each competitor is going to get eight different questions in eight different categories. We get a late right. They get a bonus question. Uh, it's going to be a whiteboard round because remember, hands on screen at all times to repeat and challenge throughout the entire match. So. Your first question comes in the category of 80s movies. Who plays olive oil in Popeye? But are you more of a olive oil or a Popeye? I mean, I'm not a Popeye, so I guess by default. Is is uh is Cody your Popeye? No. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Four. More of a Bluto, maybe. Two. One. That's probably more correct. Let's go to Mendoza. Couldn't remember her name. And Holton. Shelly Duvall. That is correct. Okay. I was wrong anyway. All right. Question number two in the category of crime. In Jackie Brown, what job does the title character have? 
across a hundred and ten street. And that that that's a it's a good theme song. I like that. I like this movie. I think this is a good film. Do you like this one? I know Coho hates this one. Do you like this movie? Kirk? I don't hate it. I, I like it. When I, when I first saw it, I didn't like it because I wanted like Pulp Fiction Reservoir Dogs. And I was like, where are the black suits? Where are the black suits? But it's grown on me. Two. One. True. Let's go to Mantraka. Flight Attendant. And Holzman. That's the only Tarantino movie I have not seen. Flight Attendant. That is correct. Okay, your third question, category directors. Kenneth Branagh directed what remake of a Sydney Met film? Uh, you hate Sydney Lumet, right, Kirk? Yeah, he sucks. Yeah. Give me Branagh any day of the week. Five, four, three, two. One. Repeat the question. Okay, Mark using his first repeat. Kenneth Brana directed what remake of a Sydney Lumet film? Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. Let's go to Holton. Murder on the Orient Express. And Mark. Elsa and Murder on the Orient Express. Both correct. Okay, guys. Question number four in the category of coming of age slash teen. What decade does Adventureland take place in? Fun fact. Adventureland filmed in my hometown. Oh, very nice. Fun fact. There's an amusement park like right uh, 10 minutes from here uh, called Adventureland. Oh, really? Well, Adventureland yeah. was filmed at Kennywood Park. Oh. We went there this year in the summer, and then I had to come home and watch it because it put my, my, my wife in the mood uh, to watch Adventureland. Four, three, two, one. I fell asleep halfway four. through. Let's go to Cameron. I feel like you're trying to trick me. The 2000s. And Mark. So the 80s? That is correct. So tied up three to three, you go into your fifth question, category of Oscars. Orson Welles won his only Oscar in what category? Have you have you heard the Orson Welles Frozen Peas tape? The what tape? The Frozen Peas tape. Like it's him doing a commercial for Frozen Peas, and he like keeps correcting the director. And it's no, a no, but I have seen the wine commercial he did where he's completely okay. hammered on wine. That's pretty um, good too. Pens down, pens down, pens down. Let's go to Mark. Mark. It's the best original screenplay. And I, said the screenplay. I also said best original screenplay. I did not see screenplay written on Mark's board. I only saw screen. He did. Yeah. Okay, so we are not going to allow uh, that unless his manager wants to challenge. So Cameron does get the point. Mark does not, unfortunately. So we go into the next question. Kirk. No challenge coming through. Okay, next question. Category comedy. What role in government does Mel Brooks's character have in Blazing Saddles? And no, we will not accept just politician. He has the role of politician in government. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Mark. It's a mayor. And Cameron. It's a governor. That is correct. So, Governor is correct. Five to three as we go into your pen ultimate question category of horror. What type of demon is Pinhead in the Hellraiser franchise? What type of demon is it that communicates with you and tells you to commit all your crimes? Okay, it's not technically a demon. It is an imp. Uh, it's Mr. Mr. Whatever his name is from Superman. Mr. Mr. McSpitalek? 
Yeah, him too. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Mark. I don't know. You really what you meant. said request demon. I'm not sure. And Cameron. Thank you to my boss, Daryl, who made me watch this movie, Cenobite. That is correct. All right. Your final question. No perfect round, so final question of round one. Who plays Dr. Brackish Oakum in Independence Day? Brackish Oakum. It's quite That's a character funny. name. That is – how do you come up with just – Dude, does it, uh, this guy had to know somebody named Brackish, and he just put him in the movie. Uh, or either that, or they just dragged the handful of scab, uh, Scrabble tiles, throw them out there. <laughs> One. Pens down. Let's go to Mark. Brent Spiner. And Holzman. I said Randy Quaid. Star Trek's own Brent Spiner is correct. I so with that. that final point, Mark does great Titan the lead a little bit, going in six to four, six to four. Unless I did math wrong, going into round two, round two is going to work like this. Each competitor is going to get a chance to spin the wheel. If they like what they spin, they can keep it. If they don't, they can spin again, but then they are stuck with it. We're so going to do 10 categories on the wheel, including spinners and opponent's choice. You make five questions, whatever category you get. You get right two points, multiple choice, one point. Or if you're wrong, the player gets a chance to steal. Categories we have on, on the wheel tonight are Mark strengths of James Bond films and football movies, camera strengths of pure flicks, and 21st century live action musical, musicals, because of co course, those are his strengths. We also have only films, scores and soundtracks, sci fi fantasy, and classics. So, uh, Cameron, you are in the lead. Would you like to spin first or defer? We're deferring, right, Kovo? Dose. Yep. Okay. Cody, this will be your spin. Or By the way, Mark, we would never have won that challenge. That's why I didn't tell. Uh, that's fair. Like I work on scores and soundtracks. Would you like to keep that or spin again? Oh, I think we spin again, don't we? I don't hate it, to be honest. But if you feel feel better about spinning again, um, I know there's some that you don't want. Um, I hate this category, so I can't. I think we spin again, but I'll let you decide finally if you think you want to try it. Screw it. Yeah, spin again. Okay. This is the category you are stuck with. Sci-fi fantasy. Fine. I will give you your questions in that category. What is the name of the spacecraft that Dave and Frank are on in 2001, A Space Odyssey? Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, Discovery 1, B, Nimbus 3, C, Magellan 4, D, Eagle 5. You broke up on the C option. Can I hear? The I'll C give you a repeat of the option. Okay. A, Discovery 1. B, Nimbus 3. C, Magellan 4. D, Eagle 5. Say C. C is incorrect. Holzman for the one point steal. Your multiple choice options again are A, Discovery 1. B, Nimbus 3. C, Magellan 4. D, Eagle 5. Discovery 1. That is correct for one point. Next question. Kellen Lutz and Dwayne Johnson both played what fantasy character in 2014 films? Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A. Dracula, B. Hercules, C. Death, D. Frankenstein's monster. God damn it. It's Hercules. That is correct for one point. In Edward Scissorhands, Edward takes out a loan to start what type of business?
Fine. Cool. Say a barbershop. That is correct for two points. Uh, can I bring in Coho? What's up? It's 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 specifically a hair salon, and they are different things. I wouldn't do it. You're not gonna win. Okay. You won't win it. No so I I wouldn't do it. All right. Yeah. No challenge. No okay. As we move into your pen ultimate question in the category of sci-fi fantasy. Who plays Niobe in The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions? Five. Jada Pinkett Smith. That is correct for two points. And your final question. In Upgrade, what is the name of the experimental multipurpose chip Aeron creates? Five. Multiple choice. I can get it. Okay, multiple choice options are. A, stem, B, laser, C, stem, D, basic. Stem. That is correct for one point. So, unless I did math wrong, I have Mark at 10, Cameron at 7. Is that what you have, Kirk? That's what okay, I got. Okay, as, as we go into Wolfman's round two soon. And we will bring Coho in. You land on football movies. Would you like to keep that or something? Yeah. No, sir. You need a better than that again. And this is the category you are family films. Sweet. Cool. I'm going to land on three so we can do this. Kurt, would you like to give? Absolutely. His questions and comments. Cameron, your first question is the category of family films. What type of business do Annie and Haley's father own in 1998's The Parent Trap? Uh, he runs a vineyard. That is correct for two points. In the Muppet movie, what type of food does Doc Hopper's restaurant specialize in? Uh, frog legs. That is correct for two points. Who directed both of the Paddington films? Oh, sh multiple choice. Is it A, James Bobbin, B, William Moore Strongberg, C, Paul King, or D, Travis Knight? Paul King. That is correct for one point. In Daddy Daycare, Tony dressed up as what superhero for two weeks? The Flash. That is correct for two points. I almost ran out of my neighbor's house screaming because of that movie. <laughs> and we only have five in this one. Okay. Your final question. Who plays the older brother of Sam and Jerry in The Wizard? Oh, Christian Slater. That is correct for two points. Okay, so it is 16 to 10 as we go into round three. Round three is going to work like this. Each competitor is going to get to pick what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four-pointer. The categories they will be able to pick from tonight are Nolan, animated, westerns, war, crime, coming of age slash teen, 2010s, and directors. We're going to let them pick the categories right now. We'll go back to you. Right now. Okay, we are back. Going into round three, our competitors have picked what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four-point question. Holtman has picked his one-pointer in coming of age slash teen, his two in family, his three in animated, and his four in Nolan. Orsman Chuck has picked his one in war, his two in crime, his three in Nolan, and his four in animated. So we're going to let them get started with their category, starting with Mark, who is going to make his uh, six-point lead. Kirk, will you give him the first question? Absolutely. Uh, Mark, you ready for your one-point question in the category of war? Let's do it. George Clooney, Sean Penn, and Jim Caviezel appear in what World War II film? Uh, 
uh, the thin red line. That is correct for one point. Your two-point question in the category of crime. Who plays hard-nosed cop Jack Cates in 48 Hours? Nick Nolte. That is correct for two points. On your three-pointer in the category of Christopher Nolan. Who plays young soldier Tommy in Dunkirk? Harry Styles? That is incorrect. Correct answer is Fionn Whitehead. And we move on now to your four-pointer that you need to hit to continue the game in the category of animated. In animated, how do Roddy and Rita stop the giant wave from destroying the town in Flushed Away? Five, four, three. Repeat the question. Two. Your second repeat of the night. In the category of animated, how do Roddy and Rita stop the giant wave from destroying the town in Flushed Away? They freeze the water. That is correct for four points. Okay, so now we go over to Holtzman. For his one pointer in coming base slash teen, if he hits this, I believe he does tie it up with Mark. Is that correct, Kirk? That is correct. Okay. What 1999 teen film stars Heath Ledger and Julia Stiles? Ten Things I Hate About You. That is correct for one point. Okay, now for your two pointer in 2010s. What MCU actress plays Ava in Just Mercy? Brie Larson. And your winner, Cameron, the conductor, Holtzman. We are going to go to moving on to play Matt Queller next, but we're going to start with Markman Shock, our unfortunate second place finisher tonight, bringing in his manager. Uh, match didn't quite work out for you, but you, you hung in there. You hit your four pointer and animated, which is something not a lot of people can do. Very impressive on that. Uh, how do you feel overall? Cool. Sucks. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, it just didn't go our way. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, I'm not happy with how stuff stuff went in the match, and it's okay. Um, we'll we'll be back for next season. I maybe shouldn't have pulled him into fandom and then made him stop studying normal stuff. And but luckily, the last question was a DreamWorks question, which I don't know if he hits if it wasn't for <laughs> being in fandom, but. Yeah, it's – I mean, he had two uh, – Holtzman had two strikes on the wheel and then family, so he ended up hitting one of them. That's fair. Uh, he's he's one of the best in family, and, and we just couldn't do anything after that. I maybe should have stuck with scores and soundtracks, see what, but, again, that's, you still scored, what, like five, six points in uh, sci-fi, so it is what it is. I'm not happy with it, but we'll be back next season, and we'll be in mix-ups, so. Okay. Uh, so Do you have anything, Mark? Uh, I really, I mean, uh, I mean, it's, it's 17 points, but I just, uh, I, I hate missing that Nolan three pointer at the end. Like, I, five points, I think. That's right. Fine. He's been in Round two. You're, you're, you don't um, be, don't be, don't be down because I still, Nolan fans, I don't think know who the hell that guy is. So it's fair. Like, it's just, what, like, I don't know, like, I, I, I'm, I'm not happy about it turned out today, and for whatever reason, Cameron Holzman is just is unbeatable. <laughs> to, to He's the screen. first order killer. I'll tell you that much. He yeah. clearly is. So, but I I can't wait to play him again. I'll say that, and I uh, 
can't wait to be back in singles next season because I, man, I, whoever has that belt, I'm coming for them next season. I'll say that. See ya. Okay. Now we're going to go over to Cameron Coho. Kirk, I'll let you take the questions because I'm lagging real bad. Okay. Uh, Cameron Coho got this big win over Menchaca. Yes. Um, how, how, how you felt? I mean, that match, everything kind of just fell into, into place for you. How, how you feeling about that? Yeah. Uh, coming out of round one, I had the lead and I wasn't necessarily expecting to have the lead, but that was nice. And then, uh, he got sci-fi fantasy and I was like, oh man, I would have liked those questions and now things are going to go bad. And then lucky, luckily I got family, which is something that I really like. And I was able to, to run it and then. Round three, we had enough of a lead where uh, we can do the thing that people do, where you take your opponent's strength at four so that they can't have it, because that's the strategy people use now. Uh, but, like, that was still a great game from Mark. I heard that four-pointer, and I was sitting there, and I was even like, I'm not positive about this, but I would guess that. So it's like, it's like it was a really good pull from him, nothing but respect. Uh, yeah, I was I was nervous going into this. Uh, you made me watch football movies and James Bond, and you have no idea how much I like neither of those things. Um, uh, yeah, we were we were worried for Menchaca. We we worked pretty hard for this one. Uh, we did it, Redshaw. We did it for you, buddy. Yeah, uh, this win goes up to Cameron Redshaw. A, uh, you have been avenged, and B, uh, I'm hoping that number one contenders matches Cameron v Cameron Civil War. That would be All nice. Right. So now you get to move on, and um, you're good. You get your rematch against Queller. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. How are you feeling about that? I feel uh, good about I'm that feeling one. Good. Last time I played Queller, uh, Queller did not. Uh, uh, so Queller, Queller beat me, but I think I I sort of beat myself in a way where it came down to I messed up in picking things in round three, uh, and yeah, it. Like it came down to, the, I played a really good game. Oh, Coho's gone. Okay. Oh, and he's back. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why that happened. But you know, okay. like I, I think my match against Matt is like it's a match I'm really proud of. It's one of my best matches, even though I lost. Uh, I'm ready to come back stronger than ever and prove that the first time was a fluke. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm ready to play Qualler. This is gonna be fun. All right. Well, that's coming up here soon. And uh, good luck in that match. Thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay, Kirk, I'm lagging still really bad. Um, but I think we're just I'm just gonna take us home. Cameron, Mark, Coho, Cody, Kirk, I'm Boatman. Okay. He, here's the thing. Bye bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle. Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye-bye. Bye.